Hey everybody, it's Amy here and I wanted to make a quick little tutorial about how you can get your own font downloaded into Cricut Explorer and also how you can find your own free custom fonts that have commercial value and how you can find those and how easy it is and I just think it's best business practice as much as possible to get the commercial free fonts uh, because you see a lot of people they go and they use the Cricut fonts which is fantastic but I always kinda like to think what would you do if all of a sudden this product you were selling is selling thousands and thousands which once you get to a certain point that uh, that becomes more possible so I'm in here um, I have I go to Creative Fabrica this is my favorite I'm gonna go into freebies because I recently canceled my Cricut Explore, Cricut Design Space uh, membership and the reason was because I was using the copyright angel policy where I had a couple fonts that I really liked using with them but now that I'm away from it I'm going to be trying to build fonts and stuff like that that have commercial value that I own. Cool, so let's go in here, I'm going to get all fonts, Hippie Unicorn, that one looks cute. So Hippie Unicorn's free. Ooh, me likey. Um, 1989, free font. I like that. I really like that. Really like that. So this, I'm going to show you guys how you can download these fonts. I'm going to show you how you have your own licensing um, number that goes with it. And then I can show you how you install it so that you can use it on your Cricut. Mm. So just bear with me. Um, so I like the 1989 font. That's that's what I like. This is cool, this is cool, and this is cool. But the reason I like the 1989 font is because I'm going to be making some koozies for my, for my Amazon Prime shop. So I'm going to download this free font. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to open it. I want to open that puppy up. And then you're going to have it open to here, obviously, if you're on a Mac, and you have this little folder. So you open this folder, and then you've got two options. You open it up, and it actually shows you the fonts that you have. So I'm going to install this. This is the light version. Um, so there we go. We've got that. It's called Shakoder 89. Um, what I love about my new computer that I got, my new Mac, ooh, I like this. This is probably the one I'm going to go with. So now we have both of them installed here. So there you go. Um, so we've downloaded it and then when you go to your account here on Creative Fabrica, and this is one reason I love to use uh, Creative Fabrica, is you've got this section on the side, orders and statements, I think is it, your favorites. Oh, downloads and license keys. They keep track of all of it. So look, I actually have this license key right here, free, and this is my this is my commercial right uh, license key, and I love using Creative Fabrica because they give you a license key, which I think is wonderful in case somebody does contact you and say that you were using their font. What's wonderful about it um, is that what's wonderful about that is that you have this license key. So I always love going with that. So I was in here messing around. I'm going to restart it. I'm just making some fun little koozies that have fun little alcoholic sayings on them. Um, and then we're going to get in here. I'm going to start a new... Well, I already started new. I'm going to put in new text. Um, I thought this was a funny saying I saw around alcohol you later. <laughs> And we will go with um, that SH. Is that the name of ours? SH. Okay, I have to go back. SHK. SHK. There it is. So you have this, and, and then you're able to install it. I wonder, I think I can do bold. Was that what we, yeah. So we installed the bold font. So when you do like italics, cause look, I'll go to italic. We did not install an italic, see? Um, we've only installed the bold. So be sure to keep track of that when you're looking and you're installing things. 
because if you want something underlined, each font needs to be installed. So I'm going to have the line space be zero between, I'm even going to go negative two here. Um, we'll do negative one so I have some space to weed it. Letter space, I actually love sizing, perfect. Height, 2.5, perfect. And I'm going to center it. Is there extra? See, it's kind of off, so there might be an extra space somewhere. Okay, there's not. It just kind of looks off to me. Let's see if I can put this here. Ah, you're drunk. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're drunk anyway. Okay, so, um, I'll, and then I'll call you later. Um, and then I, ha I saw another one that said, um, <laughs> drinks well <laughs> with others. Too cute and too funny. And this is three feet, okay, three wide and 3.4, so that's perfect. And I'm gonna come up with just a couple of them. Drinks well with others. And as you can see, that's how you get a font, and that's how you download a font, and that's how you find a font that has a commercial use and you install it onto your Cricut um, so that you can use commercial free fonts and so that you can find a nice workaround to not pay for expensive bundles of fonts and also to not worry about um, buying the Cricut subscription for $10 a month. There's tons of other fonts that you can use out there that are just as cute and actually you'll have more. So if you like videos like this about crafting, about building your online business, about using your Cricut Explorer, or maybe you're into some other stuffs like I'm into. I like, I like, um, uh, I like gazing at the sky and, um, I like, crystals so if you like any other kind of stuff like that subscribe give a big thumbs up and thank you for subscribe and Leela says thank you thank you for subscribe um and see you on the next episode right Leela yeah and check out Leela's channel if you get a chance it's called Leela's Playtime she got a sweet scooter okay thanks for watching